Pisces, Aries, to your December love reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best message. Best message. Best message. Having some unresolved issues. They're thinking that you, you know what, we're having some unresolved issues. There's things going on. Um, things that I feel like we cannot resolve at this time. Okay, so igno ignoring the pains and the problems. So it does feel like they are just ignoring everything. They're just trying to ignore the situation. You know, maybe they're trying to push stuff under the rug. Uh, feeling also like there's an elephant in the room when you guys are together. So it does say ignoring the pain. Okay. So they do believe that you still miss them. It's almost like you can feel that kind of like, I miss you. I miss the way we do things together. I miss us. And they do feel like, you know, you still miss them as well. Okay, and let's see what the Romeo and Juliet cards have to say over here about this situation. Romeo, Romeo. You're not feeling that they're as devoted and loyal as they used to be. You're not even finding them as trustworthy and caring as you used to. So what you believed was wise, caring, and truthful. Um, and all these cards are in reverse. So I'm, uh, yeah, you're kind of finding that where they used to have their loyalties towards you and they were completely devoted towards you, um, you're still feeling like you're not there. Could have been dealing with a Leo that is just not there anymore. Um, wise and trustworthy, you're just not feeling the positivity. They're now more optimistic. They're not caring the way they used to carry. They're not as open as they used to be open. So you might feel like, like I said before, that there's some kind of elephant in the room um, scenario when they're around. Um, you're just building up your strength and independence over here. So you're building up your strength and independence. Um, you might even be keeping a little bit of a secret to yourself about the situations because maybe it's hard to even open up to this person. So whatever secrets you are keeping to yourself, um, huh, you know, that's, you know, it's, you might even be keeping a new love, a new twin flame, a new mirrored soul, a new love. You might find that you have love at first sight, you're kind of keeping it to yourself, um, not letting this other person know, right? And you're just kind of trying to listen to your inner voice at this time. Um, keeping yourself in your own solitude, um, you know, because you don't want to have any kind of mis misinformation going out. You're keeping this to yourself. You don't want anyone to know what's going on. I do feel like you met this other person um, who is building up your strength and independence, um, and I do feel like you are keeping it to yourself because you don't want everybody else talking, right, ruining you, whatever it is you have. Um, you don't need to be talking to this person, so you're keeping yourself in solitude because, you know, number two, you're not going to be telling this person that you found your soulmate. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not unless, you know, you want it over or faster than you're trying to already escape, right? <laughs> it's like I'm waiting for an opening door. And yes, there is some wooing going on within the situation as you're searching. You might, might feel like this encounter, maybe this person is kind of seeking you, searching you, chasing you. Right, um, and you do not want this other person to know anything about it because you do not want them to seek out any kind of revenge or, you know, counterattack, jealousy, any of those things, right? So I do feel like you are keeping this to yourself. Look, even if you're out of this relationship and you're not even in this relationship, you definitely don't want them to know. I just, you can feel that. Like, I don't want my ex to know it's too fresh, right, about this new love that's coming in because the jealousy is just, you know what I mean? I don't need them back and forth in my life. Um, cause that's just the type of person they are. It does feel like they are holding on very tightly, um, to the situation. And it does feel like you really haven't told anyone about the situations through due to worries and concerns of them finding out, right. Or anybody with a big mouth period, end of story. Right. So this is something that I keep to myself. Um, let's see how they feel about you over here. And yes, you do have, I'm going to have to bring out. Dun, 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 the extra, right? Because you have another love over here. So we'll get to that in just a second. Um, but definitely let's look at this person that is exiting out of your life or you've been trying to exit. However, take it how it resonates. Um, but let's look at them. 
Addictions are affecting your romantic life, whether they're codependent on some kind of addiction and addict, addicted to something, or they feel you are, take it how it resonates. But no matter what, there is no flirting, there's no love, there's no kisses, there's no cooing. Wow, you're getting all the wooing and cooing from this person over here where this person looks like, they're, you know, there's no flirting, there's no, there's no compassion, passion, there's no romance, there's nothing. Um, it looks like they almost pretty much, if your person is addicted to, to some substance or something, it could be that they're giving all their attention towards drinking substance, whatever they're, maybe somebody else. Um, however, but it does look like they are um, shut down. Um, and they might even be sexually shut down because of that could be a possibility or whatever it is, right? Because it already says over here, anyways, I don't see you loyal and devoted in any ways. So there will be no, they do not want to have heart to heart conversation. Look, this person, no wonder they feel like there's an elephant in the room. They don't even want to talk. So how are you going to have flirting and all of that when they don't even want to talk to you? <sighs> okay, we're moving on from that. I, you know what? I do want to pull a shadow card though, because I do want to see what, what they have to say about the situation. Mind you, these cards are rough. Okay. They are rough. So, I mean, they literally come with a warning label. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> and not for the sensitive. I'm not, like, I wish I was kidding. Like, oh, where are the boxes over there? Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I wish I was kidding, guys. It literally says not for the sensitive party. Um, Shadow Oracle gets raw and real as it welds into the hidden aspects of your soul connection. Please note that these messages are mature, straightforward, and not for everyone. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. See, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Give it that. Okay. I took the easy way out. But I am different now, and I fantasize about you. But yet, I'm not going to talk to you. Oh my god, I just... Never mind. I know I made a mistake. I hope you're happy. Okay, so they're going to try to blame it on you. Okay, so I see exactly what's going on in the situation. Okay, I know I made a mistake, but I hope you're happy. So they're trying to blame their mistake on you. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Okay, I got it. I got it. It was all your fault. <clears throat> Got it. They could be the elephant in the room, try to throw everything under the rug, not have this and that. They can go drink, they can do this, they can do that, but it's all your fault. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Not the first time I've seen that in a reading. I've seen it many times. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. And for the cross watchers, okay, we'll see what you have to say back to them. I don't know how to let you go. Bear with me. And if it's something you didn't say, let it go. Okay, it's for somebody else. But you didn't imagine it. Next card out. I hope you're happy for me. Now, that's interesting because it says, I hope you're happy. And you're saying, I hope you're happy for me. And you're also saying, I don't need your approval. Now, I think this one might be a huge one for everyone. Because it does feel like they are making mistakes and then trying to blame you for it. So I think this one really is going to be a big one for many of you. Okay. Because, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense, actually, if you think about it. So, spirits, spirit says, best solution for them, please. Do not express your love to this person anymore if you do not want this person. Let them go. Trust them within your own instincts to understand that, you know what, you have a beautiful new past life relationships coming in right now. Something that you can have a beautiful engagement, so go ahead and release your ex. Oh, and I love that because there comes this cooing person. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we've got Fabio over here, and as I say, Catherine Je Jetta Jones, <laughs> Zeta Jones, is that what it is? I swear, it, um, it's like Fabio and, 
that movie that she's in, uh, Zorro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you have this beautiful engagement going on over here, right? Of all this beautiful things going on, so they say, go ahead and release that ex. Let this new person come in. Let them treat you like the angel that you are, the doll that you are, the mature male, female, beautiful person that you are. Okay, let's see what this person has to do over here. I, I'm like, now I'm getting excited because it's like, okay, I got you. I got you. Let's see what's going on. True love. They see you as true love. Interesting. We just seen them saying, you're not my true love. Okay. They want you to give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Free yourself from your ex. They want you to be completely free because they're a soulmate coming in. Boom. Hello. You deserve love and I'm attracted to you. Oh, yes. I love that. Okay. So that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love and good luck with your brand new love relationship. Bye-bye.